Is, is this milk okay? I don't know. Taste it. <laughs> I can't tell. I just, just brushed my teeth. <laughs> Date's okay. No, no. That's a good thing I didn't pour it on my cereal. Honey. Kate, Kate, wait a second. Um, here, here's a here's a poser for you. You know, it might be might be kind of fun. Um, you, you're you're trapped in in a steel uh, uh, bathysphere uh, six miles uh, b below the the, uh, the the polar ice cap, and uh, you you only have thirty seconds of oxygen left. Now you you can't use your your powers of super hearing, super strength, super smell. Uh, what what do you do? Gee, Bob, I guess you die. <laughs> Bye, honey. Yeah, that was fun. Hi, Daddy. Where's Mom? Oh, you, uh, you just missed her. She had to go in early to open up the, the museum shop. Oh, shoot. Uh, uh, Trish, as long as you're here, um, I, I have a question for you. It might, you know, it might, be, might be kind of fun. <laughs> uh, you're strapped to the back of an asteroid hurtling toward the sun. And, and your titanium heat-resistant uh, suit has only 30 seconds left, you know? Uh, now, your, your powers of uh, super hearing, super smell, yada, yada, uh, <laughs> they obviously uh, won't help you here. What, what, what do you do? <laughs> uh, honey, it's, it, you know, it's, it's only make-believe. <laughs> Well, I, you know, I, I know you're upset, so I'm just going to let that go. Uh, all right, honey, you know, tell Daddy what's wrong. It's Matthew. It's Matthew. It's Matthew. So, so it's Matthew. <laughs> Kissing? Worse. Oh my God. <laughs> they were having a meatball sandwich. Is that what you young people, you know, call it today? <laughs> just, you know, tear, tearing you up inside. I just can't believe he would do that to me. Well, I'll tell you what I'd like to do to him. 
I like to strap him to the back of a... <laughs> of an asteroid hurtling toward the sun. I'd like to, I'd like to see him get out of that. How'd, how, how do you think he'd get out of that? We're on my problem now, Dad. I'm so... What should I do? Why, why don't you talk to him? I wouldn't know what to say. Well, you, you want me to talk to him? Would you? For me? Well, sure. Uh, you know, tell me what to say. Okay, just tell him. Tell him that I'm a sensitive person. And that I deserve honesty and, and openness. And that if there's anything that needs to be said between us, I deserve to be told in my face. Hey. I guess I, I could tell him that myself, couldn't I? W would you? <laughs> you know, for, for me. Oh, you're good. <laughs> hey, look what I did in my break. Designed a new uniform for the Chicago Police Department. <laughs> that, that's a French maid's outfit. <laughs> I know. Don't you think it's friendlier? <laughs> Hey, Bob, what's with the droopy-eyed, sad sack face? I'm, uh, I'm one-quarter German. I, I can't help it. <laughs> All right, Bob, unload. I can be sensitive. <laughs> well, my, my daughter is having a kind of uh, romantic problem. Love's a bitch, Bob. <laughs> she, uh, she saw her boyfriend having a meatball sandwich with, a, with another woman. Ah, the old story. <laughs> your, uh, your, your daughter? She'd never be hurting if she was with me. I treat her like a queen, like a goddess, like the angel she is. Then we could get married and I wouldn't have to call you Bob anymore. I could call you Dad. Well, it's, it's, it's very thoughtful. Uh, I think it's a little early, you know, for her to start seeing someone new. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Can I call you dad anyway? Uh, no. Poppy? Bob, get in here. Stat, code blue. Harlan, uh, you know, I, I could pretend I, I know what, what you're talking about, but, you know, it would just demean the both of us. I'm on hold for to Horst, not a happy CEO. I pitched him the bathysphere, the asteroids. He's not buying any of it. He's thinking of pulling the plug on the whole comic. What, what do we do? Well, first of all, calm down, Bob. <laughs> now that the two of us are here, I think we can handle him. The trick is to keep him off balance. We'll give him the old good cop, bad cop routine. Stone, sorry to keep you waiting, but the new Victoria's Secret catalog just came across my desk. <laughs> Don't you hate it now that they've moved into outerwear? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Tohorst. Uh, Bob has joined us. Good. Then I'll only have to say this once. I've been thinking about your ideas, and I find them sensationalistic and without an ounce of social value. Yeah, they seem pretty infantile to me, too, sir. But Bob here disagrees totally. Go ahead, Bob. <laughs> what? Well, come on, Bob. You're the bad cop? No, no, I'm not. Yes, yeah, sure you are. <laughs> well, I, I want to be the good cop. <laughs> I've already been the good cop. Who ever heard of good cop, good cop? <laughs> hey. You don't know how to play this game, do you? I hope you're not pitching a story about a bad cop. Well, you know Bob, sir. He's down on everything. <laughs> Hear me out, Bob. My problem is I don't care about Mad Dog. Bob? Bob, don't go storming out of the office in a rage. At least listen to what the man has to say. <laughs> I brought him back, sir. <laughs> we got him going. I respect your feelings, but Mad Dog seems one-dimensional. We need to see his human side, lay bare his heart, find out what makes Mad Dog cry. 
Laugh at the man all you want, Bob. I happen to think that's pretty touching. Thank you, Stone. Now, if you can manage to rein Bob in, I want to see something on my desk tomorrow at 9. Bob, never mind the obscene hand gestures. We've got work to do. <laughs> we'll get on it right away, sir. He's going to think twice before he calls us again. Yeah, you know, I just hope I, I wasn't too hard on him. <laughs> okay, so, to Horst wants reality. There's drama in everyone's life every day. What happened to you today? Uh, I got shafted by my partner. <laughs> oh, all right, next time I'll be the bad cop. That's all I ask. <laughs> Although you did scare the hell out of him. I was pretty good, wasn't I? <laughs> Get a load of this. Giant rats are taking over the city. Nothing can stop them there. Ancient primordial beings have been living on Earth longer than man and, and will outlive it. Are you pitching a story? No, not this one living in my desk. <laughs> look, look what I did in my lunch. Get out of here. Hey, Albie, you want a half a cheese sandwich? Sure. <laughs> okay, let's focus on life. Everyday reality. What happened to you today, Bob? Oh, I got up, I had, I had some breakfast. Uh, my daughter came over, she was crying because she had seen her boyfriend uh, having a meatball sandwich with a, another woman. I, I cleaned out the cat box. Bob, that's it! Who wants to see Mad Dog clean out a cat box? <laughs> no, no, the thing about your daughter, that's great. Mad Dog sees Penny having a meatball sandwich with another superhero. His heart is trashed. Who can't relate to that? I, I, I don't know, Harlan. Think about it. He's jealous. He starts behaving irrationally. People start losing faith in our hero. He becomes more concerned with revenge than justice. It's, it's Othello. Mad Dog goes mad. Look, Har Harlan, you know, I'm, I've never been a, a, a averse to, to ripping off Shakespeare, but I, I mean, I'm, I, I'm not going to use a, an episode of, of, of my daughter's life. Uh, it, you know, it'd be like betraying a, a, a private corner of, of her heart. Ooh, that's what we'll call it. <laughs> it's too personal, Harlan. Bob, what do you think art is? Look at F. Scott Fitzgerald. He got all his ideas from the diary of that Looney Tune life of his. Trisha doesn't keep a diary, does she? <laughs> Drop it, Harlan. It's, it's just that it's good stuff, Bob. You can feel it right here. It, it is a good idea, isn't it? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Come on, Bob. <laughs> we'll change it. We'll make it a sausage sandwich. Would that help you? <laughs> the sandwich is, it isn't the issue. I mean, my, my daughter came to me in pain. She spilled her, her guts out. And, and you want to use that in a, in, in a comic book? You, you just don't get it, do you? No, if it was a BLT, <laughs> it would be impossible to trace. <laughs>
I, uh, I, I forget. Uh, what, what do you think of artists that uh, draw upon the, the lives of, of people they know? Well, I guess it's okay, as long as they're not exploiting anyone's personal pain. That's just plain mean. I agree. <laughs> Bob, here it is. Okay, go to bed. <laughs> what? I, I mean, I mean, uh, Harlan's here. We'll, we'll be in the den. We don't have a den. What kind of house is this? <laughs> I faxed a copy over to Horst. He just flipped. Okay? When your guy told me the story about the meatball sandwich. Ha Harlan, Harlan, go, go to, go to bed. <laughs> The idea of Mad Dog seeing Penny with another superhero. Uh, I'm going to bed. What are you talking about? Didn't he tell you? The story of your daughter's heartbreak. Talk about saving our bacon. <laughs> That's all thanks to Bob. It isn't, isn't anyone else bushed? Bob. Uh, honey, we, we've been trying to crack that story for, for weeks, and, and there it is. I mean, w one issue in, in less than a day, and, and, and finally, for the first time in my career, I'm, I'm, I'm writing the truth. Oh. And the part where the space weasels eat the rings of Saturn? Well, you, you gotta have an ending. <laughs> Bob, this is wrong. Look, Kay... Wait, Bob, Bob, let me handle it. Kay, I know that you're disturbed because we use Trisha's personal pain in our comic book. And I empathize with you 100%. But you gotta know that this booger's convincing. <laughs> Tell her why you did it, Bob. You, you said I could be the good cop. Bob, this is Trisha you're writing about in this comic book. Your daughter. And she happens to be very vulnerable right now. Maybe you haven't noticed, but Trisha is a delicate, sensitive little girl. Mom, Mom, guess what? She's a lesbian. They, they sure grow up fast, don't they? Who's a lesbian? The girl Matthew was having the meatball sandwich with. She's in his acting class. She gave him cable for free. I can't believe I got so worked up over nothing. I was the meatball. <laughs> you know, you know, Trist, you know, since, since everything worked out so nice, uh, I, I think I think you'll get a you'll get a, a kick out of this. Um, in, in in this issue, a, a mad dog uh, sees Penny having a sandwich with with another superhero, and it 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 breaks breaks his heart. Just like me and Matthew. Yeah, it, it, except you know it's a it's a, a BLT. <laughs> so you kind of base this on my heartache. Yeah, but you know every everything worked out, so so it's okay. But you wrote this before you knew everything was okay. Well, I, I guess somehow, you know, I intuited deep inside myself that, uh, you know, being your father and, and knowing you as, as I do, that <laughs> the woman uh, that Matthew would, would have a, a sandwich with, you know, would, would be a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kay, Kay, you, you want to help me with this? Oh, no, no, I think you're doing just fine. <laughs> Daddy, I can't believe you do that. Daddy, this is really rude. I mean, what are you gonna write about next? How I had to repeat the second grade? How I got pinworms at camp when I was seven? How I went skinny dipping in Buckingham Fountain after high school graduation and spent the night in jail? I, I, didn't, I didn't know that. Oh, wake up, Dad. Now you can use it in one of your little comic books. Honey, you, you said you were at Peggy McDougal's house. Peggy McDougal made my bail. <laughs> well, I hope you two are satisfied. All right. Buddy is naked in Buckingham Fountain on the night of his high school graduation. <laughs> Stop it, Harlan. This is real life here. This is... This is my kid we're talking about. Then, then what happens? <laughs> He's arrested by Alpha Centurons pretending to be human policemen and is taken to another dimension. See, see how I get sucked in? I'm... Bob, go talk to your daughter. Then what happens? <laughs> come on, come on, Trish, let, let me in. No! <laughs> uh. 
Well, it, you know, it is my house. <laughs> Here, here's, here's the, the manuscript. If, if it, you know, did anything in, in any way to, to hurt the trust be, between us, well, then I, I, I want you to destroy it. Really? But didn't you say you thought it was really good? Yeah, but, uh, I mean, our, our feelings go deeper than, you know, than just a, a stupid comic book. Thanks, Dad. I just needed to hear you say that. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> We, 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 worked, we worked hard on this. But, Dad... But, you know, I mean, this was never intended to, to make you look foolish. I mean, what, what you went through, you know, it, it, it touched my heart. And, and it inspired me to, to write something that would, that would touch other people's hearts. Really? Yeah, I mean, uh, it, look at it as a kind of a, a tribute to, to how, how deeply, you know, that, that I feel about you. I, you know, I, I, I love you. I love you, too, Dad. Look, this, <laughs> this is my job. I, I, I need this story. I mean, I, I know I'm asking you to, to make a sacrifice, but, you know, I've, I've made sacrifices for you, too. You know, you, you mentioned the time you, you came back from camp with a, with a case of, of, of pinworms. Yeah. Well... Somebody else got pinworms that summer. Oh, damn. Yeah, and I, 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 didn't, I didn't care for it. <laughs> and, and from time to time, you know, I, 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 I think about it. <sighs> oh, Dad. Maybe I was just being over-emotional. Yeah. Well, I mean, no one's gonna know it's my story. So go ahead and print your comic book. That'll make us just about even. Just, just, just about. Yeah. As soon as I go tell Harlan about your worms so he can put it in the next issue. <laughs> oh. 